Hi, welcome to the DLP Gen tutorial. In this series of movies, I will try to show you how you can use DLP Gen to produce input files for programs like DL Poly and Gromax. DLP Gen is based or uses OPLS like force fields. To do so, uh, it considers bonds and angles as harmonic oscillators, the diedrals as a cosine function or a Fourier series, the intermolecular interactions. He considers uh, atomic point charges located at the nuclei position and Leonard Jones potentials. It's also possible to use Druid models or to set Druid models with the program. Uh, regarding the Leonard Jones potentials, the program can use mixing rules based on geometric and arithmetic means, but geometric means is the default for the program since it's based on OPLS force fields. In order to use the LPGen, you need three different types of input files. The first one is a program control file, which contains all the necessary information for the LPGen to run, namely files locations, simulation box composition and uh, simulation box dimensions. The second file needs is a library file, which is the, the file that contains all the parameterization for the force field, like bonds, angles, diedrals, atomic point charges, and Leonard Jones potentials. Finally, the third file that is required is a genesis file. Basically, it contains the description of your molecule, the atoms' names, and their corresponding atomic coordinates. In order to obtain a gen file, it can be automatically produced using the LPGen from standard XYZ files, PDB files. You can also use a Z matrix to do that, or a chord file, which can be obtained from the Cambridge Crystallographic Database using Conquest as described in the in the LPGen manual. Regarding the output, as I said, it can produce output files for in the L poly and it can produce the, it produces the field and config files. In future versions it will be also possible to create control file. Regarding Gromax, it produces a config.pdb file with the simulation box um, uh, configuration and the topology file uh, with the force field information. And as in the case of DL Poly, in future versions it will be also possible to produce MDP files. Regarding the config file and config.pdb files with Gromax, it is also possible to produce or to use PacMol if you have it installed in your system. Finally, it's also possible to use 4confx. What the program does is it converts DL poly out into charm, amber, numd, or lamps um, input files. So in total, it's possible to produce output files using DLP gen for 6MD packages. Okay, to finish this uh, first tutorial, I want just to show you how you can access my webpage and then download the program. Basically, you need to go to, to a browser, you can search by DLP Gen, and then when you get into the DLP Gen menu, you can go to Downloads, and here you'll find a small form. The data that I'm collecting is just to inform you about any new updates or release of the program so that you can have access to the latest versions. Uh, after filling this, uh, you will receive a small message with a link which you, you can use to click and then you'll get the program here. Uh, besides having this uh, link, you will also receive an email like this with the same information and the link for installation. Uh, in order to install the program, I will just start by, uh, instead of uh, pressing in the link, I will copy it and then I'm going to a terminal window. And in here, I will download it using wget. And I have now the program in my system. 
so it's here. Now I will unzip it. And here it is. And now I'm going to inside the folder. Uh, once here, you will have access to a lot of files, uh, some information about the program itself. You'll have a docs folder where you can find the manual of the of the program. Although it is also possible in the auxiliary files, you can also download the the, the program directly from here. But it's also distributed with the, the main source code. Uh, then you have an examples folder which contains several um, files that you can run to just to check that everything is running uh, okay in your system. And finally we have the source uh, directory which uh, has a lot of files for, um, for the installation. In principle, you don't need to run make clean. Uh, in my case, I had a lot of compilation files here, so I just clean everything. And now I will try to install the, the program. Uh, if you press make, you'll have to uh, see, you can see the options for the target machines. Now, uh, the available ones are Cygwin and Unix. Both it requires G Fortran in order to be installed in your system. Um, by default, if you run make Cygwin or Unix uh, in this place, you'll get program in this source file. Normally, what I do is I go to the make file itself, we use Emacs instead, and I edit the, um, the bin root. Now, it's going, if I leave it like this, it will install the program uh, in the source directory. Normally, I change it to a folder which is included in the computer's path. In this case, it's my um, home bin uh, directory. I will save it and then I will just run make Cygwin because in this case, I'm running this tutorial with using Cygwin. Uh, you can use Unix if, or you should use Unix if you are using uh, operating systems like Linux or macOS. So, once I run this, the program will install. And as I said before, the program will be present in the bin folder. So, just let wait. As you see here, it's in bin and if I look for it I will now be able to see it in my bin. Okay, um, so to finish and see that everything is running okay I will just do dlpgen version and I get information that I'm running the DL, dlpgen uh, 2.1 Okay, so with this I finish this first tutorial. In the next movie I will try to show you how you can prepare uh, the input files for a system from scratch. See you.